When life gets hectic, it's the little things that shine brightest and carry you through. I make an effort to recognize these little happy spots in those hectic moments, and I encourage you to do the same. Hi, I'm Amy, and I make things. Today, I've made a list of nine things cheering me up right now, plus a bonus number 10 you won't want to miss. Come on, let's spread some joy. The first thing on my list is my new rotary cutter. It's the 60 millimeter rotary cutter from Quilter Select. And the, I only have first impressions of it right now because I just started using it a week ago. So if you want a more thorough review, let me know down below and I'll link everything I can down there as well. So don't forget to check that out. But so far, I love this thing. It is heavy, which you might think is a deterrent especially if you have hand trouble. But what the weight of it does is allow me to not have to press at all. So when I cut, it's smooth as glass. It's left or right-handed, very easily, easy to open and close. So far, so good. Check back for more information as time goes on. The best thing about it, I almost forgot, the best thing about it is to change the blade you pull this down, and look, it's got a magnet to hold the blade. It's not going anywhere. I think that is awesome. Now, it's a spendy little bugger, but so far it really, really makes a difference in my cutting. Number two on my list is Quilt Folk. Now, this is issue number 14, South Carolina. But what I'm really excited about, what's really bringing me so much joy, is issue number 30 shipped this week. And issue number 30 is the Georgia issue. And I am so excited. So many of my friends are featured. My friend Tara Miller, who I will link below, and is just an amazing quilt historian and just an amazing person all around. She's featured. The Brown Sugar Quilt Guild is featured. And it's, it's going to be a banger. I cannot wait for it to be on my doorstep. Speaking of quilt folk, I joined their Break the Rules Block of the Month program, and I'm really excited about that as well. Number three is having my long arm back from service and in good working order. Shout out to Honey Bee Quilt Shop for getting that to me in record time. Also, not to mention having an in-house quilter, and we're getting so much done, I'm thrilled to finally have those things moving forward. Number four is friends. We have guests coming in for the eclipse, and whether or not the weather cooperates with us is sure to be an awesome time. And it's also allowed us to, you know, we always say, we need to invite people over so we'll clean up the house. It's allowed us to get some projects finished that have been in the wings for quite some time. In fact, I found my Grovers. They're making me so happy. Also, in May, my friend Tiffany is coming. Some of you guys have met her in the Patreon Zooms. I'm going to get her on the channel. Maybe we'll even do a live stream. I don't know, that terrifies me, but you guys let me know if you're interested in the live stream. Also, be sure and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Number five, speaking of Patreon, my Patreon Zoom calls. You guys, one of my favorite things every month is hanging out and chatting with you and seeing what everyone is working on and what everyone's up to, what the weather is from all over the world, and what time it is. I really love connecting with you guys, and those are really, really special days for me. The next Patreon Zoom call is coming up on April 14th from 1 to 4 Central Time. That's all linked below if you want to join the Patreon group and support me in that way and hang out with all of us. It's a great group. Number six is the challenge with Donna. Guys, this was so much fun, and Donna, she's just special. Be sure and click the link below or in the cards to enter for a chance to win one of these quilts. The winner is going to be announced on Monday night, April the 8th, so be sure and hop on over there 
you know, after you watch this, and enter for your chance to win one of these fun quilts. Number seven are these Sharpies. Now I know, what do Sharpies have to do with quilting? Well, you're going to have to wait until May 1st to find out because these are going to play a big role in my panel for the So Becca and Friends Creator Collab. That will go live here and on Becca's channel on May 1st. There's a link below to all the creators who have already posted their blocks and I can't wait to see how it all turns out. Number eight is hand quilting and hand binding. I'm gonna hold up this quilt that I'm working on. I love the calm that it brings to my world. And I love that even while in pain and limited, I can feel participatory and creative. I sit with my little kit and I hand quilt or I hand bind in my chair trying to tune out all the noise and enjoying the company of my friends and my family or just reruns of House on TV. The smallest victories are just important as the big ones. Leave me a comment with your latest small victory or your latest big victory for that matter. Number nine are the books I'm reading. I just finished reading Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdal and it's fantastic. It's all about productivity in a way that feels organic and good and natural in your life and not just hustle for hustle's sake. It's all about having fun, but also getting work done. And it's, it's kind of a different take and I really enjoyed it. If you're into time management or productivity or anything in those related fields, I think you'll enjoy it too. The other book I'm reading is Julia Hungry. In fact, I'm reading it Probably is the third time through. Picking and choosing now. It is the book by my friend Hannah Louise Poston. She's my YouTube mentor. She's my friend. She's a wordsmith and a poet. The book is evocative and provocative and I'm sure other vocative words that I can't think of right now. She's the wordsmith. I'm not. But check it out below if you're interested in poetry with a real, some real insight into the existence of being a woman in the world and all that that encompasses. And bonus number 10 that is bringing me so much joy right now, it's you guys. I know. I know I'm super cheesy about it, but it's totally true. When I started this YouTube journey, I wanted to build community around quilting and quilters and including everyone. I am overwhelmed by the support and friendships that are growing every day. Thank you so much. You mean the world. So never doubt and never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.